In 2012, the total population of individuals in the United States who were between 14 and 17 years old was about 17 million. If the survey results are used to estimate information about summer employment of teenagers across the country, which the following is the best estimate of the total number of individuals between 16 and 17 years old in the United States who had a summer job in 2012. So here's the, the key. The point of doing a survey is to get an idea about the distribution of some thing, in this case, whether someone has a job or not, within a population without having to ask every single kid in the population, right? Imagine having to ask 17 million student teenagers, do you have a job? It's time consuming, costly, probably impossible to do. So what you do instead is you get a random sample you ask the sample the question. And then in theory, if you've done your study right, you've collected a, ran a random enough sample, you've done all the things of your sample correctly, you'll be able to scale up those results to the real thing to say, okay, let's just, I'm making up these numbers. If half of the sample, let's say, has a job, that would mean half of the real set of all kids, right? All 17 million would have a job. That's the idea of doing a sample. You can take the sample size and scale it up so that you can make or draw conclusions about the, the overall population from which you've drawn that sample. So in this question, we wanna know what is the best estimate of the total number of individuals between 16 and 17 years old who had a job? Well, notice in our sample, it was 39 out of our group that had a job. So what we need to figure out is, okay, what fraction of the total sample does this 39 represent? And once I have that percent, what then percent of 17 million would that represent? So 39 out of 170 is the percent of our sample or the fraction of our sample of 16 to 17 year olds who have a job. So we can go ahead and find out that percentage. It's 0.229, so 22.9%. Now again, since 22.9% of our sample are 16 and 17 year olds with a job, we can Assume, since this is allegedly a well done study, that we can apply that percent to the population as a whole. So since we've got 17 million, we can just go ahead and multiply this by 17 million. And we get 3.9 million, which is choice B. Notice as well, it actually, the math was a lot easier than that because the total is 170. So all we would really need to do is say, oh, well, if our actual amount is 17 million, all we have to do is just add one, two, three, four, five zeros to all these values. And notice if you add five zeros to 39, you get 39 million, uh, 3.9 million, which is exactly our answer. Point is, you can take your percentage from your sample and apply it to the population as a whole. In this case, we can do it directly as a percent or because the math worked out nicely, we could have just added zeros. But let's say, for example, let's say they had sampled 362 students. You wouldn't be able to just add zeros. You'd have to do it the method we did here. Find the percent and then apply the percent to the population as a whole. So this would get you choice B. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.